reign of the ICW champion, it appears we are going to open up by having the leader of the hype section grace us with his presence to open up this week's edition of ICW Adrenaline. Last week, Jermaine Johnson put down the challenge of the one savage stud, Gary Tool. But now he can look forward for one month's worth of time to facing Johnny Z. And I have a sneaking suspicion that between now and then, we're gonna see some hurdles in the way for Jermaine Johnson to have to cover. But the leader of the hype section, looking confident as ever, as he has come out to address the hype section, Section knows what to do, even without Johnson up on the ring apron to lead it. They love this man, the most popular wrestler in ICW, according to the ICW Year End Awards, that were delivered last year. Excuse me, last week. It feels like last year already. And I'll have some more to comment about those, as well as some OklaFan.com awards as we go along. But right now. Let's go hear what the ICW champion has to say to the ICW world. That's what I'm talking about, hype section. Make some noise up in here tonight. You know, I wanted to start this off, talk to my hype section, let you know what was going on on my mind. Let you know how I feel feel on this day because later tonight we got a big main event it's champion versus champion the icw champion jermaine johnson will face the impact division champion bobby star it was one of two huge events announced on our facebook I agree. I agree with you. We got this. And I agree with y'all that Bobby sucks. And I will prove that later tonight. But not to disrespect the big champion versus champion match that I have later, I thought I'd come out here and talk a little about Violet Valentine. Are y'all ready for Violet Valentine? Y'all already got your VIP tickets for February 7th, huh? Huh? Well, at Violent Valentine, we already got Bobby Starr versus Kevin Morgan for the Impact Division Championship. That's set. We got Double D versus the Broads, Bull Aaron Neal, and the winner will get a shot at this right here, at this right here. At this right here, at this right here, the ICW Championship. That's what's right there. And then that brings me to the ICW Championship matchup because that's myself versus Johnny Z in a last man standing matchup. Do you know how you win a last man standing match? You don't just knock your opponent down for three seconds. Ah, oh, no, nah, that's easy. We do that every week. You don't just knock your opponent down for five seconds. That, that'd be pretty tough, but that's not what you do. It takes 10 seconds to beat a man in a last man standing matchup. And Johnny Z truly feels he can beat me. He can put me down for one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten seconds. That's what he thinks. Do y'all think he can do that to me? So y'all don't think he can put me down for ten seconds. Do y'all think he can do that to me all by himself? Well, that's why I took this time here tonight. I took this time to call out the natural born leader, to call out the savior of wrestling, so-called. I want him in this ring 
right now and face to face with me. I want him to tell me to my face that he'll knock me out for 10 seconds, February 7th, and he'll do it all by himself. Johnny Z, if you're back there, you know, and I'm not disturbing you getting your hair did or something. Why don't you come out here and face me like a man 101 and leave your boyfriends in the back? We don't need no impact ink at this party. Jermaine Johnson is showing a bold challenge to the uh, natural born leader, Johnny Z, to come face him one on one, man to man. See the natural born leader arriving yet, but we all know he likes to take his time. Hey man, I'm the ICW champion, and I'm out here with my hype section. I can do this all night long. You better get your punk ass out here. Oh, no. We have upped the level of intensity there, but still. No Johnny Z and the ICW World expressing their belief and calling the owner Chicken Z up. Uh, maybe that got underneath uh, the owner's feathers. No pun intended, sir. But I guess we are going to be joined by the natural born leader himself, the former ICW champion, and the man who must face Jermaine Johnson in a last man standing match. At Violent Valentine, it was a match. There he is. The man himself. Ladies and gentlemen, the national born leader, Johnny Z. Johnny Z looks very confident. This has been a bit of the mainstay of the mindset for Jermaine Johnson since he returned to ICW about six months ago. He walked into the ring to face Johnny C and the rest of Impact Inc. Man to man, face to face, to say I'm back. I'm here to do this on my own. I do not want Impact Inc's help. I'm not here to join or rejoin Impact Inc. And ever since then, there has been an intense dissatisfaction from the natural born leader towards the man he once called his best friend. And we all saw how at the uh, triple threat match for the ICW Championship at Chaotic Christmas, when Johnny C defended that title against Jermaine Johnson as well as Double D. It was a convoluted ending, it was a controversial ending. But Johnny C was the man who was rolled up and pinned by Jermaine Johnson. So that Johnson, for the third time, can wrap that championship belt around his waist. Now Johnson simply wants the satisfaction of knowing that Jermaine, or excuse me, that Johnny C is going to walk in the ring here and have to admit that he cannot get this job done himself. What does our leader have to say to the assembled IZW world? Hey, you know what, Jermaine? You might have all of these mouth-breathing window lickers full, but you don't have me full. You see, you're one to be out here talking about winning championship matches on their own. I mean, that, that's what he told me that, that I needed to come out here and do. Correct, come out here on my own. You know, you did the first part of what I asked correctly. And I'll say thank you for that. I respect that. You came out here all by yourself. I know it was hard pulling Damon off that ass there long enough for him to come out here and you can be by yourself. So I appreciate that. Secondly, yeah, that's what I said. I want you man to man looking in my eyes. Tell me to my face, friend. 
I want you to say it in front of my hype section that February 7th, there won't be a bunch of people trying to keep me down for 10 seconds. There'll be one person trying to keep me down for 10 seconds. He won't be able to do it, but he'll try all by himself. Can I get you to say that, Johnny Z? Can I? Can I? You. You, the man who only stands here as IZW champion because there was a third party involved in your championship match. I mean, let's face it, Jermaine Johnson has never accomplished anything without Johnny Z. Oh yeah, Jermaine Johnson exists because of Johnny Z. Jermaine Johnson wasn't even important until Johnny Z decided to take him up under his wing and teach him how to be important. And then what do I get in return for it? Do I get gratefulness? Do I get respect? Do I get adulation? Do I even get a simple thank you? I get an ungrateful friend who comes back and because of the distraction of a third party steals my IZW championship and then fools all of these idiots that he calls the hype section into believing that he could actually beat the savior one on one. That's how you feel? That's how you feel? It's not how I feel. No, that's how you it's feel. the gospel because it left this mouth. And I am the savior. I am the natural born leader. John E. Z. John E. Z. John E. Z. John E. Z. You suck. You know what? And hold on, hold on, hold on. I will avenge him calling you idiots in due time because you don't disrespect the hype section. But I need to tell you this first. I need to tell you this. If you think you're the reason Jermaine Johnson stands in this ring as the champion of ICW, then your head is too far in the clouds. Maybe someone needs to pull your head out of Mark Wilson's ass. But if that's how you feel, you can go. Go to Violent Valentine, February 7th, feeling that rage and take it out on me, John. Beat me down. I dare you, as a matter of fact, why don't you beat me down for 10 seconds and win back the ICW championship from that person that ain't nothing without you because you know what I'm gonna do February 7th? I'm gonna punch you in your face. I'm gonna drop you on your back. I'm gonna make you touch every piece of furniture here in the Impact Arena and I'm gonna beat you. And you know why? Hold on, hold on, I don't think he heard you. Do you know why? We got yeah. Unanimous support you know from the ICW world. Like? You know who you sound like. You? you sound like every guy that ever said he was gonna step in this ring with the natural born leader, with the savior of professional wrestling, with Johnny Z, the greatest IZW champion ever. You sound like every guy that told all of these morons, told all of them that they were gonna step in here with me one on one and they were gonna take my IZW championship. They were either gonna pin my shoulders to the mat. They were either gonna escape a cage before I did. They were either gonna put me in a casket before I put them in it. Shut 
the only difference, John. No, it's my turn. Oh, it's your turn? You see, they can all tell me it's to shut turn? my mouth. This is my company. I created this. These are my microphones. I'll shut my mouth when I feel like it. He sounds like every chump that said he was going to shut your mouth. You owe me that. You let me finish. You see, <laughs> every one of them said they were going to beat me one on one. You know the difference between me and every. fighting an uphill battle here, and maybe he should come I got all night. I got all night. They're members of the hype section. That's what you're claiming? This is what you're claiming? Are you serious? I'm claiming all of the hype section! You know... Complete and utter insolence, just like every person, every performer that has said they were going to beat me for the IZW Championship one-on-one. -on -one. They came out here, they said they were going to do it. The only difference between all of them and me is I have never, look it up in the record books, I have never lost an IZW Championship match one-on-one. -on -one. At no time that I have ever... You will care February 7th. It is fact. In a one-on-one -on -one match, I have never lost the IZW Championship. And February 7th, you want to hear it, you want me to say it, Everyone else here has lost a championship match one-on-one -on -one because they're not the savior. They're not the natural born leader. And at Violent Valentine, I'll beat your ass one-on-one. One-on-one. -on -one. Johnny Z. One-on-one. -on -one. -on -one. Johnson. One-on-one. -on -one. One -on -one. Oh, yeah. Nobody will get involved. I am telling every one of you in Impact Inc., everyone in the locker room, everyone in this crowd, it is Johnny Z, Jermaine Johnson, one-on-one, -on -one, no one else, and I'm gonna knock your punk ass out. I am gonna that put you down for the 10 count, and I am gonna remind you why I am the savior, why I am the natural born leader, why I am the greatest IZW champion ever. You hear them? They want me to knock you out. They don't want you to knock me out. Yeah, they want out. me to knock me out. They don't out. want you to knock me out. And you know what? It's funny. I'm going to answer their wish because February 7th, it's going to be one on one. Johnny Z and Jermaine Johnson. But tonight, come on, fellas. Tonight's not one on one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Johnny Z calling in the reinforcement. Here comes the facilitator. Here comes the Impact Division champion, Bobby Starr and impacting, doing what they've always done best, use the numbers game and sneak attack from behind. And now, all three men taking over on the ICW champion as Johnny C starts to rain down the fists on the forehead of Jermaine Johnson. But we did get it confirmed, one on one, February 7th. That's not the case tonight. This ain't though. February 7th. This ain't Violent Valentine. They continue to put the boots to the ICW champion here. Jermaine Johnson asking for a one-on-one -on -one on, match when it comes to Violent Valentine, but obviously not expecting to have to fight at this particular Come on, moment. Damon. He's prepared this for the main event later on tonight. And now, this is what you wanted. Windsor. Windsor picking Johnson up and violent choke slam. And here, here comes Double D. Double D out. Double D. With those swift knees, Double D delivers knees and kicks to everyone standing. All the members of Impact D. Oh, but D. D caught with a running clothesline. 
by Windsor, and now, now at three on one as it was just a moment ago against Jermaine Johnson. Now all three men taking over on double D. Oh, oh, gentlemen, here comes the image of fear, Kevin Morgan. And Johnny C immediately bails out of the ring. He wants nothing to do with this big monster of a man. In fact, all the rest of Impact Inc. is out as well. And now all of a sudden the odds are a little more even. Morgan, D and Johnson standing in the ring. Impact Inc. On the outside, regathering. There's a long time between now and February 7th. <laughs> I'll let you in on a secret. I'm also the owner. Sean McHale and Mark Wilson are not in the building tonight. That means you're next in charge is me. Kevin Morgan, you would love to get your hands on me. Well, not tonight. Jermaine Johnson, you get your chance February 7th. As for now, you two take your asses to the back or you're suspended. Because we have an opening match Damon Windsor versus Double D was promised, and that match is right now. All right, well, we're going to open up with one of the feature matches that was announced on our Facebook page. You got this. They're going to go. You don't lay a finger on Damon Windsor. He's about to be in a match. matches announced on our Facebook page was Double D taking on the facilitator Damon Windsor and that appears to be our opening match tonight 